world of us. Whoa. And here, the Jack Cassidy Epiphone. It's uh, with flat wounds. That's um, it's been really exciting, fun to play. At first, my, my wife told me it looks like I'm carrying a boat, but uh, <laughs> what do women know? Just kidding. But yeah, so I'm loving the gold top, loving the feel, and uh, that song in the morning that I told you about, this more of like country kind of song. This is just so much, this bass is so much fun to play on it. Definitely a very different tone as well. For only exception, uh, we started using this uh, ripper. That, uh, what, what year is this one? 80, what was this? Uh, oh, that's a, se 70, I it's oh, a 70 something or other. Um, but that one's kind of a rare beast. That's a mm. factory. Uh, refinish and it's stamped bargain in the back they, uh, <laughs> it w would denote that it wouldn't even have been sold someone that worked at the factory probably took it home um, but yeah this was from the weight of it this was just a, one of the maple natural colored ones that mm. they just refinished man it's way lighter and uh, you know so many times we've talked about using this on a different because we only use it on the only exception it feels it plays so smooth that, it, that I love playing it, uh, that's playing that song with this bass but we've we've tried so many times we're like we gotta use it on other stuff because it's a phenomenal sounding bass and it plays great as well really smooth as well so love having the, the ripper in the, in the family this is, a, this is a newer G3 that we got as well with maple neck uh, and it's quite quite a bit different um, yeah, the uh, the, ma the the difference between the maple neck and everything. I mean, I, honestly, I don't feel like people understand how much of a difference it makes, but it definitely does. Even though this this is um, I don't even know what you what do you call that kind of neck? That's a laminated. Laminated. The other yeah. ones, we've had issues with some of them flying. Um, the headstocks like to go. Uh, that's what happened to the, to the tobacco burst. The, just the truss rod being taut took the luthier's joint on the headstock and wanted to split the neck and the fretboard apart. So uh, this one doesn't have that issue. <laughs> nope, which is good because we travel a lot and you don't want your necks falling off. No. Our pets' heads are falling off. That's dumb and dumb. Dumb and dumb. <laughs>